All right, so this is Speaker Boltman, and uh, look what we have here. This is a pair, uh, a set of YPL audio speaker systems and amplifier. I'm gonna turn the lights on for a sec. All right, good. Uh, YPL sound system, which basically contains a tube amplifier. Uh, don't know what kind of tube they're using, but we'll find out. Uh, and a pair of YPL made uh, speakers, of course. Uh, all these things, according to Man, was made in Taiwan. It's it's a local brand, but it's actually a good brand. You know, I mean, I've actually heard some of the speakers that were made by YPL in you know marts and not not, not really marts, those high hi-fi stores and all that kind of stuff. They actually sound pretty decent. They're good quality uh, speakers. So, um, we're gonna be unboxing this thing. I already had all the tape cut out. Uh, except for one little box, which I probably missed. Yeah, I just figured that out. And I'm, you know, rushing on this video, so I didn't really... I didn't really go and, uh, you know, cut the thing out. Anyways, let's open this box. Let's see what's inside. Alright, so it comes with a couple of boxes. Uh, two of these. Empty. Empty. Yeah, empty. Empty boxes. Yep, and there's a big box right here. <sighs> I'm gonna take a look at this one first. I suppose this is the amplifier because speakers are not going to be in the box that small, and it is the amplifier. The YPL MP5 Mark II S. Tube amplifier. Wireless speakers. Nice. Ooh, look at that. Uh, service, service. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, it's got this kind of card, right? Decent. It's in Chinese, of course, because that's what that's the language here in Taiwan, so it's normal. Ah, oh, nice, nice, nice audio cable. I love that. Seriously, you can't see that? Yeah, you can. Good. Nice audio cables. Decent. Let me set that aside here. Uh, look at that. Hmm, what is this? This is a transmitter. Wireless transmitter. Let me open this first. I oh, made in Taiwan. Huh. Not bad for. Yeah. That yeah, looks really decent. Plastic feel is nice. Hmm. Doesn't give me a, a cheap feeling. It, it, yeah, it's nice. Yeah. Charged by a mini USB? That's old. Uh, probably not a mini USB. Gives you a charging. Oh, it is a mini USB. Right, uh, you get a line in, you get USB, you get an off, or what is that? I have no idea. This is the transmitter. There should be some pretty good audio quality on this. And, and yeah, I set that aside as well. Don't want to lose that. Ah, it's the battery. It's probably a remote control right here. And look at that remote control. Decent. Ah. Oh, it's off. Oh, there's the protection. Protection for the uh, battery. Let's see if there's any battery inside here. No battery here. Good. Uh, look at the remote control. I hope there are buttons on the amplifier because I don't like, like, Bose remote controls. And, uh, usually what happens is when a remote control, the sensor breaks, the whole thing shuts down. It does not work anymore. So I hope... This one does not have that problem, but look at this remote control. That's really good quality. The button feels nice and solid. You won't accidentally press it if you leave it down like this, which is a good thing. It's not too heavy. It's doesn't feel quite... It feels quite nice, actually. It, it, it's good. It's, it's surprisingly good. Yeah. Because I thought they are going to focus on the amplifier and... You know, forget about all these little details, but actually, according to my unboxing experience, by far, that is quite nice. And it's easy to get these open and all that, and they actually, it actually came with a battery. That's a very good thing. It came with a battery. That's really good. You know, your mini USB cable, I'm not going to go into that so much. It's just, it's just gold-plated. Probably also audio cable, audio, audio-grade cables, I, I think. And the uh, power adapter. Ah, oh, this is a typical of those kind of ones that you see in the uh, laptop. Nike. Oh, it's basically a Chinese brand, but 
yeah, it's just the power. That phone's safe. It'll be fine. Uh, nice quality, actually. Uh, I kind of like it. It's got glue on it. Hmm. Uh, no, it's just dirty stuff. Yep. Side. And you get a decent uh, RCA to 3.5 millimeter jack. Nice. As well as a 3.5 millimeter auxiliary cable. Oh, this is a very high quality cable. Hope it's not too short. Gold plated. Yeah. Uh, what's this? Hey, there you get an antenna for the amplifier. You can hook it on so it's 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 it gets better signal. You can like you can go further away from it, I think. But um don't see the point of using it unless uh, if you don't put it on it, it, it doesn't work. So yeah. I'll put this on here. Great. There's the amplifier. Oh, look at that. Nicely covered in these white paints. And it's got protection on the, on the tube. Let's see. Ah. Oh. I gotta shake it out. Just hold on. I don't want to break the tube. Alright. Check the thing out and did a little research on it. Hmm, the tube is these nice stuff. I don't know if you can see the brand it says something on it Beijing oh. yeah I did a little research on that and turns out to be a Taiwanese brand which is decent on stuff made in Taiwan from 1987 yeah you can replace these which is good because you can still buy these uh in 94, 7, probably 1994, the 7th week. Decent. And nice tubes, actually. I mean, it, 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 it doesn't seem cheap. It, it seems pretty high quality. Yeah, both these are 94, 7. I suppose 1994 and 7th week. Yeah. Oh, my God. There's a screw back. Anyways, uh... Oh, my God. I hope not. it's not a screw from this. I think not. Anyways... Yeah, you get a big transformer. I think it is a transformer. I think it is, yeah. You get a typical YPL Audio MP5 Mark II S. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah they're actually, they actually developed this thing themselves. It's not just Chinese stuff rebranding. And look at that pre premium finish. Like that aluminum finish. Like the feel. And you get a switch on the side, which is not so good. Because I don't know where it is. But hey, look at that! You get a voltage selector. I believe it's 115 to 220. Nice. There, there's that plug. It's easy to find these kind of plugs, which is good. This is, this is easy to find. Um, look at that. This is the four-pin connector for. I'm sorry, it's the speaker speaker output. I'm sorry. Uh, look at that. It's not a four-pin connector. I'm sorry. Ah, look. There's where you put your antenna. It's like a Wi-Fi antenna. You just screw it in. Like that. And then... It's kind of like that. Nice. Decent. Nice touch. Um, all stuff looks like it's gold-plated, which is pretty good. And you you can see there... Let me turn... Focus this thing, and then... Hold on. I don't know if you see that clearly now. Input... Line one, line two, two lines, and then output line to probably some, probably another one. I I guess you could probably bridge this. I don't know if you can, but you never know if you don't try. Yeah. Anyways, that is our two amplifier. Very nice. All right, found a mysterious little box in the box in the big box. <laughs> It's the YPL Audio. I don't know what it is. Oh, I, I see. It's T Cursion. I bet the I bet they try to spell cushion. <laughs> but yeah, it's probably those cushions that you uh or or stuff that you put under your speakers. It says every one of them get you could put ten kilograms onto it. That's thirty with three, and it's it has six in this. So. I can use it with these because those are only 10 or 15 kilograms, which is nice. Nice. Good idea. All right. 
Let's open this. Hold on. There. Nice premium feeling. Oh yeah, look at that. That is the cushions. Oh, it's Sanfield. You put your speakers. You put it like that. Like that. And then you put your speakers on them. Nice. Uh, Alright. Look at that. Decent. Great. Alright, the last box. Gotta be the speaker, because I haven't seen the speakers yet. Let's set that aside for a sec. A little annoying. Alright. Ooh, look at that. Speakers. Yeah. Wait, what? These are those white things that goes on them. Here's the port. Oh, look at that. These are the speakers. Nice hi-fi touch. I love the hi-fi look of this. Oh my god, look at that. That is nice. Oh, gold plated. Yeah. TR1 loudspeaker. Ams. 35 watts. Nice. Big power for that. I believe that's a 4 inch or cone diameter 4 inch, I guess. 4 inch woofer and a 2 centimeter, which is a uh, 3 quarter inch uh, tweeter unit. Ah, metal dome tweeter. Love those. I don't know how they tuned these, but it shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, same same speaker layout style. And same model, same model that. Ah, great. Alright. Now we have this. What is this? This is banana plugs. Yeah. Gold plate of the game. Nice audio grade wires. Goes from these speakers to the amplifier. Decent. And when these banana jack accidentally falls off, you can splice these open and use it as an ordinary wire for audio purposes. Yeah, you definitely splice these. These aren't those all in one, the big thick ass wires that came out like a two double thing. I don't know how you, however you say it. But you can splice these. Nice. So, oh, look at the speakers, and there it is. That's the hi-fi system. I'm gonna, I'm gonna plug them in and uh, have a listen.